Welcome to Beaded Doilies by Shell. In this video, I'm doing a variation of part 10 of my Kaleidocycle series. I recommend that you watch the first minute and 45 seconds of the original video before beginning this one. Um, in this one, what I am going to do is show you how to um, make the background color your corner beads, your corner for your um, triangle so that when you do your kaleidocycle you don't see any of the white support you just see the background colors on the uh, different corners of your pyramids so what you want to do is when you start you'll go through your first bead which is that center bead or your connection bead here in between your small triangles And then here, you'll add three background colors. So whatever color you use for the background of your design, you will add three. The first two you just add. The third one you will cross with both strings. And then you'll follow the path on your um, piece, you'll go through two beads, and then here you'll just use your uh, support color, which in this case is clear white. Since we went through two beads, we're going to add two, and then we're going to cross with one. And then we're going to go through one, which is going towards our um, connection bead there for our small triangles. And then because we went through one, we're going to add one of our support colors and cross one. And now we're going to go through two. We go through two, going away from our connection bead there. And as we went through two, we will add two support color and cross with one. Now we go through one and we're going back towards our connection color there. And because we went through one, we're going to add one and cross one. Now we're going to cross here where we're going to go through two, three times. So we'll go through our first two here. We'll add two and cross one. Then we'll go through the next two. And we will add two and cross one. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned, but um, you are adding to the string that's coming away from your piece and going through the next ones with the string that's coming towards your piece. Now we go through the next two for this set. And then we're going to add two. And 
across one. And now we come to our connection bead again there for our small triangle. So we're going to go away from it with just one bead that's right here. And as we went through one, we will add one and cross one. Then we head back towards our, the connection beads again, going through two. And we add two. And cross one. And now we're going to go away from that connection bead and go through one bead. I'm going to add one and cross one. And now we're going to go towards the connection bead that is our corner. So we're going to go through the two beads that is heading towards our corner connection bead. And here we are going to add two of our support color. And then because we're at the corner, we're going to cross with the background color. And there, as you can see, our background color will be what was showing. So now we'll go through that connection bead, which is our corner bead. And this time we're going to add one background color and cross with a background color. And there our background color is showing. Just like over here you see the background color and here you'll see the background color. Okay, now we want to head down our next side so we're going to go through two beads. And we continue with the support color, just like we did that last side. We'll add two beads and cross one. And now we'll go back towards that, the connection beads. We went through one, so we will add one and cross one. In the next set, we'll go away from that connection bead and we're going through two beads. So we will add two and cross one. Then we'll go back towards the connection bead. And we're going through one bead, so we're going to add one and cross one. And now we've come to the part where we're going through three sets of two, going straight across. We'll go through two then we will add two and cross one. Then we'll go through the next two. Add two 
and cloth work. We go to the next two. Add two. And cross one. Now we're at that connection bead there, so we're going to go away from it with one. Oh, this one got tangled there for a sec. Now we're going to add one. And cross one. And we're going to go back towards that connection bead. We went through two beads. So we're going to add two. And cross one. And we'll go away from the connection bead through one bead, add one, and cross one. And here we've reached the corner again, so we'll go through the two beads going towards the corner. We will add two beads of our support color and then we're going to cross with our background color then we're going to go through that connection bead which is our corner bead and then we're going to add a background color and cross with the background color and that's all your background colors now added, and you will just finish up using your sport colors. So we'll head down the next side, going through two beads. So we'll add two beads, and cross with one. Then we'll go towards our connection through one bead and we will add one and cross with one. Then we'll go away from our connection bead going through two Add two and cross with one. Then we'll go towards the connection bead through one bead add one and cross one. Then we have our straight line of two, so three sets of two beads. So we go through two, add two, cross one, then we go through the next two. I haven't had any trouble up to this point, but oh, there we go. Now 
would add two cross with one Here we go for the next two. I guess I'm glad my troubles happened on the last row. with one. And now we've come to the connection bead, so we're going to go away from it, going through one bead. We're going to add one and cross with one. We go through two, going towards the next connection bead. Add two. And cross with one. And then we go away from the connection bead, going through one. one and cross with one and then we go through the last two going towards our corner and we go up through that side bead on the corner and we cross the last two uh, support beads. So we add them to one string, take the other string, and go through them. And we bring them down. And now you are ready for the next part. Um, part 11 is the same. You will just use the support color to uh, finish off. And part 11 will uh, show you how to do that. It's the same um, as the original, so there won't be any variation for that video. Uh, happy beating!